300 bucks doesn't really get you much in the pro audio world. And if you were to take 300 bucks to Costco or Best Buy to buy a speaker system, you're gonna get a very cheesy looking, light showy plastic speaker that is not gonna stand up to any sort of real world use. And that's where I think the product I'm reviewing today, the ProRec Club 2000 is a perfect thing for the price. It is a very well built wood cabinet column array system that has fantastic sound quality and fantastic build quality at a price that most people would just go into you know Walmart and buy a speaker system. And today in this video I'm going to give you a full overview of this speaker. I'm going to tell you my thoughts uh, on everything from the sound quality to the build quality. I'll give you a little unboxing, talk about all the different components and setting it up and then let you know my thoughts as I've used it and ultimately whether or not I think you should pick one up for yourself. Now, if you're new here, my name is Jordan. This is the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. Before we dive into the unboxing portion of the video, consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't and leaving a comment and ringing the notification bell. All of that helps the channel grow and helps me keep bringing you speaker lighting, DJ and other tech reviews. But enough about that, let's dive in to the unboxing. So normally in this part of the video, I would do an unboxing, but because of how big the system is and cumbersome unboxing it, on video, I'm just gonna overlay an unboxing I did earlier and just show you all of the different components one by one and talk about them. So when you open the package up, you're gonna see two cables. You're gonna get an IEC power cable as well as a speak on uh, speaker cable. It has locking ends, one of them is a right angle and both of these cables are about six feet long. I think the power cable is pretty standard as far as six feet. The speak on, I wish was a touch longer. Honestly, eight or 10 would have been better. That would allow you to extend the speaker to its full height, the upper portion uh, on top of the pole. As it stands with the six foot one, you can probably only go up to about head level, I guess six feet, I should say. And even with that, you're gonna kind of be extending the cable so that it's not flush against the pole. It doesn't look quite as good. And honestly, the speak on cable isn't anything to write home about, but the fact that they included one is great and you could easily pick up an eight or 10 feet one of higher quality if you wanted. Now, also in the bag, you're gonna get two separate parts of the pole mount. Uh, there's one portion that screws into the base that also has a female kind of screw end on top where you screw in the upper portion of the pole. Uh, these are very you know, high quality, they're made of metal, they're very heavy and they feel super sturdy and when you screw them together, they lock together very well. Now the larger pole, the one that screws into the base um, section is going to have a a thumb screw as well as an extendable upper portion that allows this thing to extend well above you know normal human height. I think it goes up to seven feet or so, uh, maybe seven and a half. If you have the longer speak on cable, you'll be able to put the top portion, the upper speaker box well above people's heads. And uh, I think that's gonna make a big difference in helping the sound transmit a longer distance. Now, the last two components inside of the box, apart from the user manual, are going to be the subwoofer and the upper speaker drivers. So the upper speaker drivers, um, both of these, actually both cabinets seem to be made of, I mean, I really can't tell. I believe this is wood. It feels like wood. Um, I can't tell, it's very heavy and very sturdy regardless. Um, I've been like knocking it, like I even bit into it, <laughs> just trying to see if I can get a feel for what this material is. Uh, and my gut tells me that it's wood. It's got like a nice kind of like Duracoat kind of Rhino liner type finish, uh, which is gonna really hold up well to scratches. Now, um, if you look through the grill, you can see the four individual drivers inside of the speaker. There are no horns with this unit. So high end um, kind of throw is not going to be that good. Like most column arrays, you're going to want to use this more close up. It's going to have a widespread instead of throwing over long distances. Now, around the back of this portion, which I would say is maybe eight inches tall, maybe 10 or 12, uh, on the back, you're going to have the speak on connection to power the unit from the the subwoofer. You're also gonna have another speak on connection, which I imagine is to daisy chain a pair of these because there is a pull mount socket on the top. So I guess you could like stack two of these together for some reason. I don't know why you would, but that is an option. But the quality on this guy, the grill, everything about it feels super solid. Now, the last thing in the box is going to be the subwoofer. If I can pull it up on my table here. Ooh. Um, you can see that I could still pick that up despite being a 10 inch subwoofer. Uh, still relatively lightweight and easy to get around, but 
it does seem to be a, a wood box with the same rhino liner finish that's going to be resistant to scratching now you can see the driver behind here it doesn't have any like fabric behind it so you can see the driver but honestly the form factor of this subwoofer looks really good very modern very very professional okay it's got rubber feet on the bottom on the top you have a screw in pull mount for the upper section as well as a handle to carry and it's very balanced when you're carrying it it feels good to take around and even someone small could you know haul this into their gig with ease now this is the back side of the speaker i'm going to kind of situate myself over here so i can see it okay just like you guys can and there's a few different portions right here let me power it up and then we'll take a closer look at this part of the subwoofer all right so this is the back panel of the subwoofer it's where you're going to mix your inputs and adjust the settings that the subwoofer does have again the back section also looks really nice as well now that i flipped it on you can see we've got a power indicator led right here we also have a signal indicator that lets you know when the speaker is getting a signal and a limit light to let you know when you're pushing the amplifier a little bit too hard so starting on the left side we've got two different combo xlr quarter inch inputs each with selectable mic line gain we've also got an individual gain knob or volume knob as they label it here which allows you to dial in the level of each of your sources above that is the bluetooth section not only can this pair to your device and receive audio via your phone or your tablet you can also pair two of these together via tws true wireless stereo and use them as a stereo pair wirelessly but i'll show you how to hook up the bluetooth i've already connected to the speaker in the past you just click the button right here it's going to flash if i go into the section on my uh, phone where i have my bluetooth and select the device pro rec right here give it a couple seconds it's going to try and pair and now it's connected and you'll see this light turn solid okay so if i were to play something it would start going now to the right of that we've got this digital signal processing uh, section and they have three presets one which is to the left is monitor two in the middle is dj and three is live these are pretty similar to other speakers the one is going to be your flat kind of music playback setting two dj is going to be a boosted bass and boosted treble kind of smiley face eq and then three live is going to drop out uh, some of the bass uh, so that you can use this more like in a band setting or get less feedback um, if you're doing with a lot of microphones okay now below that we have our satellite output right here which is where you plug your speak on to go up to the upper drivers and then we have a mix output to send to your other speakers if you want a daisy chain now this is affected by the volume unfortunately and so adjusting your volume here is going to adjust the level of this which i think is kind of a design uh, flaw something that could be improved on in the future but um you know i wouldn't daisy chain these as it is anyway now to the left we have sub volume and satellite volume so you can actually adjust the amplifier level separately of the bass and of your trebles and mids okay now you can see how mine are set right here they come obviously set in the middle and by the way these dials are very very smooth and feel great and they do have a detent in the middle but where i like to keep mine honestly the subwoofer kind of overpowers the top a bit so i'm just going to pull that down here and then i'm going to give this the top a little bit extra volume now this is a perfect time to talk about uh kind of the the volume levels of this guy i think the only the only downside to this speaker the only thing that really holds it back is just how quickly the sub hits the limiter uh, it has really great bass it has deep bass for a 10 inch subwoofer uh, and the sound is very full but if you push the sub level above unity if you go up here and you're at high volume levels you're just going to hit the limit very quickly so i found to get a nice full sound not an overpowering bass sound but a good full musical sound just drop the sub level a little bit bring the satellite up to maybe the one or two o'clock position and that produces a very balanced full sound um, and you're gonna get enough gain to do certain types of events you're not gonna be able to rock a giant party with these but there are situations where I think this speaker is going to excel let's talk about those so I'm gonna take this big old sub off of here and uh, we'll talk about some uses for this system um, I did do a sound test which we're gonna get to in just a moment I'm not a big fan of them but everyone on YouTube wants them so we'll do a sound test with my Tascam recorder but before that let's talk about my experience using this product because I think that's more helpful uh, first impressions when I turned it on and powered it up is that the sound was very balanced and full I think the mid ranges are pushed a little forward and the highs are kind of recessed 
and it makes sense with no horn for the tweeter, no specific compression driver. Uh, the highs just aren't as pronounced as they are in other speakers. Um, but on the whole, the sound is very balanced. And in my like living room, and like if you were doing a house party or something with this, the bass honestly overwhelmed the satellite, the, which is what they call the top speakers. And that was surprising to me, especially if you've got this in a corner or in a wall. Uh, there's a ton of low end um, that you can have available. Like I said, the biggest limiting factor is how quickly you hit the limiter. But I think for scenarios like a wedding reception, a you know a solo artist in a coffee house, if you're using this for background music or as a kind of a, a delay speaker at a, at a corporate event, things like that are going to work out very, very well. There's a ton of power for the upper drivers and you can really just keep going, keep going on the volume. So if you wanna just do like speech reproduction for that, it's got plenty of headroom. For playing back hip hop and EDM, uh, you're really gonna either wanna add a separate subwoofer that has like a, a crossover to not send the lowest frequencies to this uh, or just, you know, maybe keep this for your very, very small venture house parties. Now, I still think this is a killer system. You can go out and spend 300 bucks uh, on uh, any number of like consumer speakers at Best Buy, like a weird JBL like column or dome or something, and none of them are gonna sound as good as this or have as much output. If I had 300 bucks, I would not go to a big box store. I would purchase something like this. This feels more professional, it feels more pro-grade, and while it may not stand up to the $1,000 columns uh, or the, even the $600 columns, I do think you know for the average prosumer kind of crossover person, it's going to be amazing. If you're just looking to pick up a speaker to throw out a killer house or pool party, this will work. Now, if you're a working DJ or you're a singer songwriter, a musician, and you just want to grab this for your practice space or you want to grab this to do small intimate gigs, I think it's perfect for that. Just know the limits. It's not going to rock a party, even of like 50 people, um, if you're playing EDM and hip hop all night. If you're playing rock music, It'll probably stand up to, to a, like a small crowd, um, but other than that, and you know, a, a pair of them would help even more. I've just got the single, and uh, you know, volume level wise, is decent. Okay, so keeping things in perspective, for 300 bucks, I think you're getting a lot. Really, really solid construction, um, all metal, wood, speak on connections, uh, really solid Bluetooth, and uh, the sound quality impressed me for the price. Now, I'm gonna let you listen to it. Keep in mind that by the time this sound comes through, my Tascam recorder is uploaded into my software, edited, compressed, exported, uploaded to YouTube, uh, compressed again, and, and put down to like a 120 kilobits or kilo, whatever uh, file on YouTube, and you listen through your speakers or your computer or your laptop Top. It's not going to be the same thing, but people want it. So here's a little sound demo. And there you have it. That is the ProRec Club 2000. It's a surprisingly cool and well-built little 
column array type system. Uh, I think if I had 300 bucks to spend and I was either gonna walk into a store or order something on Amazon, this would be the ticket for me. Uh, it's just the quality is way better than anything you can buy at this price anywhere else. So if you wanna pick one up for yourself, I'll include a link down in the description. You can go buy through there, support the channel. I would appreciate it. If you're not looking to pick one of these up today, that's cool, but become a subscriber, ring the notification bell, like the video and leave a comment. All of those help me grow the audience and keep bringing you reviews every week. Now, is there another budget speaker system that you wanna see on the channel? Let me know. I'm happy to take a look at it if I can get my hands on one and let you know my thoughts. But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.